Happy News Day, oil traders. It is Wednesday, News Day, on July 26th at uh, 8.45 a.m. Eastern. So we're about 45 minutes out from markets open here on the East Coast of North America. And as you can see, we jumped yesterday as a result of API news. Um, and of course, that burned me a little bit more since I purchased uh, my short at 47.40. And then we, we rose after I bought that. And then once API came out, which was after markets had closed here at uh, 4.30, um, we jumped up again to a high of uh, 48.66. Um, we settled back down to 48.36 as of this moment. Um, and we've gotten as low as 48.16. So there's still quite a lot of volatility um, going on. And of course that's most likely um, due to a EIA news um, today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And uh, as I've said many times before, and I'll say it again, EIA and API often disagree. So um, just be careful. Um, that's kind of my, my advice for whatever it's worth. Um, so the fact that um, API was bullish doesn't mean EIA will also be bullish. And what I mean by that, just to clarify a little bit further, is even if the EIA news itself is bullish, it doesn't mean that we're going to go up. Um, we could do nothing. We could stay in the kind of 48 um, area or we could tank just as easily. Um, I've seen it all happen before, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Um, so basically, you know, don't rely too heavily on what your expectations are around the news and rather um, you know, think longer term. Uh, if you think too short term, you can all be, you can quite readily get yourself into hot water. Uh, trust me, I speak from experience. <laughs> well, I'm, I guess I'm in hot water right now. Um, speaking of hot water, I'm 80-20 bearish, um, meaning only 20% of my portfolio right now is um, long, uh, which you can find more details on on uh, my tradingjournal.ca account uh, here. Uh, so you can see I only have um, one long position remaining that's well over three months old now. Um, that's a long position from when oil was at 52. So yeah, I'm hurting on that one. Um, do I expect to be able to profit on that? Um, no, probably not. Uh, but I may get closer to break even uh, if we keep climbing. So I'm not against um, further bullishness, even though I am bearish. Um, what I mean by that is I expect us to go down eventually. Um, I don't necessarily expect that to happen today. Uh, my time horizon is long enough that I can kind of wait out some of these swings. Um, just as we saw yesterday, I was holding that. Um, if we flip over to my results page, I was holding on to um, the long position that I sold yesterday for 48 days, over 48 days. So that was um, purchased on June 7th. Um, and I managed to get out of it for a 2.47% return, $525. You know, sometimes patience pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Um, on my 52 um, long position, I suspect that I'll have to be very, very patient if I want to take a profit on that one. Um, but, you know, it is what it is and I'm prepared to wait. Um, so that's that. Uh, so yeah, I would welcome the opportunity for us to go higher because it gets me a little bit closer to break even on that long and I still got cash available to invest in adding to my short positions. Um, so if I'm wrong, I'm prepared to wait. If I'm right, I'm going to start cashing in on some of these long, uh, short positions that I've been buying for the past couple of weeks and just go from there. That's kind of my thinking. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can hit me up down below in the comments here on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio results and trades and charts and all that stuff. Um, and in the meantime, I guess we'll wait to see what happens at 1030 this morning and uh, play the action accordingly. Uh, in the meantime, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys uh, towards the end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern today. Good luck. Cheers.